Hey, what's up guys? Danny Lightning here. Today we're going to talk about the best free and paid plugins for OBS Studio when you're live streaming. So when you're live streaming, you want to push your volume to the max because you don't want your live stream to be quiet. So we're going to go over equalizers, which are very important, compressors, which are a must have, and limiters, which are also a must have. So those are the three main plugins you absolutely have to have for live streaming if you want your audio to be as good as possible. The first thing I would do is go over to waves.com and get something called the Wave Studio Rack. This plugin is 100% free and will let you load up all your other plugins made by Waves or any other VST3 plugin as well right onto here and make a little vocal change. We're gonna show you a bunch of these plugins and then afterwards we'll actually let you hear a couple of different combinations of these plugins working together so you can kind of decide which ones are gonna sound better for you. But first we're gonna start off with the equalizer. It'll allow you to remove bad room frequencies and just kind of shape the sound of your microphone into something that sounds just a little bit better to give your listeners a nicer listening experience. We got the Waves Q10. This one's probably around 20 or $30. It's a very basic 10 band EQ. It's gonna do everything you need it to do. The next one is going to be the FabFilter Pro Q3. I absolutely love this EQ. Unfortunately, this one will cost you probably about $160 plus tax, unless you wait for like one of their Black Friday sales or something like that. And then you can often get these really cheap, which is amazing. But this is the best EQ I've ever used. It's just really packed full of features. It's very simple the way the controls work. I just really, really, really like this EQ. I got mine on Black Friday. It was worth waiting, guys. The Black Friday sale for FabFilter is amazing. The next equalizer we're going to check out is made by Reaper. Reaper, if you're not familiar with them, they make a top-notch DAW or digital-to-audio workstation for editing your audio. If you go over to the website, they also have a free plugin package. Most of them I don't actually use, but there are a couple of their plugins that I really love. The Re-EQ is great. This is a free multi-band EQ. You can add as many bands as you want. So if you need a good EQ, guys, Reaper, Fab Filter, or Waves has great, great, great plugins. So like I said, there will be links in the description to all of these. I look at it this way. If you only want to spend a few dollars, grab the Waves. It is a really, really good plugin. It's a lot better than the free Reaper, in my opinion. I like them both, but I think the Reaper is nice. The Waves is a little bit better. And then the fab filter is the best, but of course it's very expensive. So let's move on to compressors. Now we're going to go over compressors. This is the Wave CLA-2A compressor, which is one of my favorites. It just has this great smooth sound. It's unbelievably easy to set up. I think you can usually pick this up for around $20 to $30. Waves is always having sales. Sometimes they have like buy two, get two free or spend 50 bucks and get one or two free so if you buy more than one you can often get a couple plugins for like 30 40 50 60 bucks depending on the sale they're having over there but the wave cla 2a easiest compressor i've ever used so simple to set up there's hardly any controls on it that you have to mess with and it just sounds really good next we have the fab filter pro c2 this is another very expensive compressor like i said man if you can wait till black friday or some sort of big sale they often have these dirt cheap this would normally cost you around $160, but this is the most craziest advanced compressor I've ever seen. The amount of controls and stuff it has on it is redonkulous. I do have a video on how to set this up. I think I do have another video on how to set up the CLA-2A as well. Now, if you're doing music, you might get into using a lot of these other controls, but if you're just doing spoken vocals like we are for your live streams or whatever, it's, it's a very simple setup. Very, very simple setup. All right, so the next one would be the Reaper compressor. So I know there's a lot of controls on this, which may throw a lot of people off, but honestly, almost all of these controls, you can just leave them on the stock settings there's only like three controls you have to change which is your attack your ratio you can change the knee if you want to and your threshold and i think the rest of them you can just leave this is a great free compressor i absolutely love it it does a great job i mean it's not as good as one of the paid ones but if you're just going for free you can't beat this thing now we are going to get the limiters and limiters are extremely important they will get your voice to the proper volume as loud as possible 
and they'll make so you won't clip or distort or sound bad by you know having the gain up way too high now you do got to pay attention to the gain on your audio interface you want to make sure that's not clipping so as long as that's not clipping and you have a limiter set up properly you can uh you can push your voice to the max volume. This is the Waves WLM Plus limiter. It doesn't really cost all that much. Again, 20, 30 bucks, depending on the deal you get, whatever they have the sales going on. This is basically a limiter made for content creators. It's got settings for Netflix, YouTube, Spotify, Tidal, Disney. I mean, you name it. This is basically to get your audio to the right level for different, you know, social media and streaming platforms. So if you're doing content creation, this is a really, really, really nice limiter. And this one really doesn't seem to color the sound at all. It's very transparent. It doesn't really change the way your voice sounds at all. But the next one we're gonna show you does, and this next one is 100% free. And it just adds a little bit of something that just mm, sounds good. It makes your voice sound really, really good. Now this is the D16 group limiter. I think this is amazing and it's free. So using a limiter to get your, your volume to the right level, plus keeping you from distorting and clipping, it's, it's one of the most important tools you can have for live streaming. Honestly, I think you should have both of these limiters. I would say go buy the Waves and go get the free plugin. You're probably going to want to use both of these depending on what you're doing. Now, if you're live streaming, I highly suggest the Frontiers. But if you're working on your, your DAW on, you know, an audio recording, I think having both is really, really, really good. All right, so let's go ahead and play some clips using different combinations of these plugins so you can get a good idea of how the different plugins might sound working together. This is what my voice sounds like with the Reaper Equalizer, the Reaper Compressor, and the D16 Limiter. These are the three 100% free plugins that work amazing. I do not have any type of noise suppression or anything on, so we're just hearing these three plugins right now. They sound great. You cannot beat this for a free setup. You really can't. All right, so right now we have Waves Clarity VX. We have the Waves Q10 Equalizer, the Waves CLA 2A Compressor, and the Waves WLM Plus Limiter. Those are the plugins I'm currently running right now. So this is the full Wave setup using the only the Waves plugins. I mean, Waves plugins are pretty inexpensive. They're way more affordable than most, and they work really well. So they're great paid inexpensive plugins. Again, check out the video's description for some links to go get those. And yeah, let's check out the Fab Filter plus the Frontier Limiter. All right, and right now I got Waves Clarity VX. I've got the Fab Filter Equalizer running. I got the Fab Filter Compressor running and the Frontier Limiter. This is my kind of go-to setup lately, but this is the ones I use mainly. I think they sound great, so you kind of got to hear the difference between the three combinations of the plugins there. I mean, you can mix and match any of these, but yeah. Anyways, you got to hear it. So let's talk a little bit about Clarity VX. That is a noise suppression plugin by Waves that will listen to your voice and it can tell the difference between background noise in your voice. You only want to use this plugin on vocals, but if there's a bunch of fans running an air conditioner, your keyboard clacking, it will cut that down to next to nothing to where you can barely hear it. Not so much as for the keyboard, but all the other background noise in your room. It will it will get rid of it without degrading your audio quality whatsoever. Now you can use OBS Studio's built-in noise suppression, but that will definitely degrade the quality of your voice. But if you don't want to spend any money, you can go get the Reaper plugins plus the D16 Group Limiter and have a really awesome live streaming setup. It's going to be perfect for anybody who just doesn't have money to spend. OBS Studio does have a built-in EQ that kind of sucks. It has a limiter that's pretty decent, and it's got a uh, compressor, which could be a lot better. So getting some aftermarket plugins is the way to go. If you click on the link in the video's description for the Waves plugins, I do get a small commission if you buy something off of that link. The Reaper plugins and the Fab Filter plugins, I don't get a commission or anything, but I highly recommend those if you want free or really, really, really high end. But if you want nice and affordable, go for the Waves, guys. They make great, affordable, really nice plugins that don't cost you a fortune. If you want top of the line and you can afford it, definitely go with the Fab Filter plugins. I mean, there's a lot of Fab Filter plugins I don't care for, but their limiter, their EQ, and their compressor 
awesome. But I actually prefer the Frontiers limiter over the Fab Filter limiter. So, you know, sometimes free stuff is better. But that Waves WLM Plus and the uh, Frontiers, those are the two limiters I'm always using. Those are my go to limiters for pretty much everything. I love them both. They're my favorite out of all the limiters I've ever used. Those are my favorites. When it comes to an equalizer, just look for one that has the features you like and you like the way the controls work because, you know, they're all kind of going to do the same thing. I mean, the Fab Filter does allow you to do like dynamic EQ and use that as like a compressor and all kinds of crazy stuff, but most people aren't even going to get into that. So a basic EQ is really all you need. Now, when it comes to the compressor, if you want advanced in the highest quality possible, go with the Fab Filter. If you just want simple and sounds great, go with that Waves CLA-2A. Waves has a lot of different compressors, but for your speaking voice, the CLA-2A is the one to get. It's unbelievably easy to set up. I mean, there's really only one knob you have to adjust and you're done. I mean, it's such a good, simple, easy compressor. You can't beat it for 20 or $30. But honestly, any one of these EQs, limiters, and compressors are going to do you very well. But when it comes to noise suppression for vocals, I highly suggest Waves Clarity VX. Do not run that on a music track or a game track because it'll start cutting out the audio. That's designed for vocals only. So... Don't try and use Clarity VX on anything other than a straight up vocal track. Now, if you're one of those people who have really harsh S sounds, when you say like an S, if it's really harsh, really fatiguing, just ear piercing, you might want to get a DS or like Wave Sibilance. That is an excellent plugin, but if you don't really need the de-esser, you don't need to run one. Like my S sounds aren't too bad. You know, some microphones pick them up worse than others. So depending on your voice and your microphone, you may or may not need a de-esser. I don't normally run one, but if you need one, you can get a good de-esser. Um, yeah, de-esser. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think this video is long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll make sure a couple of related videos to these products will pop up on the screen here in just a second. If you drop down the video's description, you'll find a bunch of links, my other YouTube channels, my Discord server, my merch store, and all kinds of stuff. So drop down in the description, check that stuff out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys found this helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Lighting it out. Have a great day. See ya.